All right, guys, we're back on the Genesis 3.8. Finally, we got all the gaskets that we need. Got this from the dealer. Um, there's a little problem when I ordered the part. It was the wrong one, and a couple things did not show up. Bypass O-ring on the water pump. There's two right here that's the same part number. And then there's an odd one right there that will be for the other side. And this two, same part number goes in those two holes right there. All right, let's uh, quickly install this gasket. Uh, you can see that all the old gaskets are all gone, They're all cleaned. It's nice and smooth. Look at that. Same thing on the engine side right there. Uh, what I use is, uh, first I use the blade Brand new razor blade, it has to be brand new. Don't use the old one. It's gonna scratch the aluminum. And after that, brake cleans, make it soft, scrape it with a razor blade, and then scotch brights to make it nice and smooth. Just spend about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to do that. The cover and the engine side, you can see it's nice and smooth right there. Same thing all the way down there. And then same thing on the oil pan and up to the corner okay spend a lot of time prepping so that you don't want old gasket still in here and put a brand new silicone gasket and it's going to leak out so make sure get it all cleaned up and dry we're going to be putting a silicone rtv around this uh, oil pan underneath and then over to the top as well so we're gonna put this uh permatex uh, the black one is all i got okay you can use any silicone so this will cure about an hour so it's gonna start in the corner all right so uh every bolt hole right here we're gonna be putting a little bit of dab of silicone on those okay and then after that we're gonna use our finger to spread them out even All right guys, so that's it for now. We're gonna be using our finger now to uh, spread them out nice and even. All right, so next we'll uh, put a silicone on this O-ring right here. Just like that and uh, See this little corner right here where the head and the block meet? There's a little crack right there. That's where they, they meet. I put a silicone little dab right there. Same this side right here. The... Right by the alternator. Put a little bit of dab of uh, silicone right there. Right over here. Just a little bit of dab of that silicone right there and then this goes to the top of the oil pan so make sure to put a silicone on here as well put a little extra on the corner because this is going to get sandwiched together a little extra each corner right there all right, so that's good. And then now on the other side, on the top, this is where the bulb cover meets. Make sure to put a dab of silicone right there and right here. So basically that will be just on the corner right here. Put extra silicone because it's gonna get squished in when you install this. So. And the other side will be right here. Put a little bit extra the other side as well all right so let it sit for about 20 minutes half an hour and then we'll apply it to the vehicle is next All right guys, so it's been sitting for about uh, 15, 20 minutes now. Uh, double check, make sure it's all covered up with silicone, all the bolts, corners, 
the bottom and then the other side of the bolt hole and then the top right here okay All right, so the two big bolts, just line it up here, spin it a little bit so that it, it will line up all the bolts. All right, so the skinny long bolts, let's put one down here at the very bottom. All right, so 15 mil on the top right here. Snug, snug in the bottom, we'll do the one in the corner. All right, so the other skinny long bolts, uh, that will be on this side right here, okay. All right, so the second long bolt, this is the last bolt right there. Goes right there and here, and then the rest is gonna be all the same size. Uh, this one is a 13 mil. All right guys, so let's put the water pump next uh, so that we could talk to spec here. And then we'll do the outside bolts for the timing covers next. All right, so make sure this is clean. Okay, razor blade, scratch bright, super clean. I'll put the gasket here first. All right, put a little bit of gasket around here. All right, so let that cool down a little bit. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then we'll uh, put the gasket and then the water pump is next. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly show you guys the bolts for the water pump right here. I'm just gonna lay them down. Uh, here's the two long bolts, two skinnies. Uh, second long bolt, a little fatter. Third one skinny, there's three of them. There's four of those. And then all the 10 mil, there's four of those. And then there's only one here that with the Allen bolt right here. There's only one, there's only one that goes in the bottom of the water pump, that would be down here. Let's put the gasket on there now. All right, hopefully you can see this. All right, the longest bolt, it goes up here. And then the second long bolt right there. And then the bolt with the Allen key head goes right there, right in the middle. So there's a dowel pin on the top right here where that hole goes in. All right, so make sure to get that bolt in there. It's nice and snug. I'm just gonna hit that with the hammer. And then this bolt's nice and snug. And then the second skinny long bolt goes down here. All right, so the four second long but fatter bolt, it goes around the, the water pump, okay? This side, and then the other side. That's pretty much it. And then the rest is all the 10 mil. Okay, I was gonna snug those up. I'll just use a 12 mil socket on this one. All right, three bolts right here. They're, they're the skinny one, but longer. The two similar will go down here. And then the long one goes right there. The longer one goes here. And the rest of the three that's the same go down right there. Down the bottom. And then the last one, very bottom. That's it. It's gonna go snug it up. All right, so I'll just use a 10 mil with the extension on this one. All right, the Torx bolt right here, we're gonna snug it up. And same thing with the long bolts, the long skinny one, 10 mil. Now we're gonna torque this bolts to spec. I got the diagram here. 
So you can see there's three different sizes of bolts. Uh, looks like they're all the same torque spec, uh, 17 foot pounds. Or you can go uh, 21 to 23 newton meter. So they're all the same torque spec.